Good afternoon, my name is Scott Rutherford, Chief Strategic Officer at TGVLab.com. Welcome to today's recap and look ahead. I'm a little late because a lot of earnings came out after hours. Before I get into that, let's take a quick look at the indices. Definitely a very choppy day, but all in all, you know, it doesn't seem like much is uh, different. You look here at the chart of the S&P cash, you will see we're still well above this two-year range. The two-year range, it's been digesting. We've been digesting higher. We've been playing with this eight-day moving average, but still not able to break it uh, you know, to the downside. So you know, we'll figure out whether or not that means um, after a bunch of choppiness, we could actually get going again. We're still holding the eight day at a bit of a doji close. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, we'll see if we can break above it. You know, the, the, the one little cautionary thing is if you were breaking below the eight day, we were thinking maybe we could see the 21 day. So we didn't want to have to sit through that. Um, the, uh, the IWM um, acting very well, closed on the highs, you would think that you could take this home long. I am along the spiders and I am along the IWM. I talked to Red All Access. I told them I'm in both. We'll see, maybe we get a little bit of a lift tomorrow. You would think after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven friggin' days that it could actually <laughs> break out and go a little bit, a little continuity there. Um, the IBBs, you know, not so bad, held in there, even though there's some bad news. We talked about whether or not it could hold the eight day. I put that chart on and it held it for now. So we'll see if that's good enough now for it to hold sideways to get towards that 200 day. And then you have the banks that have been hanging out. You know, they perked up today, perfect bull flag. So can we get a continuation into the Fed tomorrow if they're a little bit hawkish? Perhaps this breaks to the upside. Okay, now you have earnings after the close. Apple is up, it's above, it's like 101.50. I, I was worried about this quarter. I wasn't so worried about you know the next quarter or the one into the fourth quarter because I think the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, a lot of people were refreshed. At. I, I didn't think that they were going to even meet the numbers this quarter, and they did. So I think that's pretty positive. Um, you know, if you look at where it just came from, I remember actually <laughs> selling into this topping tail here, and all it's done since this little discount because everyone ratcheted the numbers down. You know, it's above it, so if we could stay above this after hours, I think you stay in some. If you could stay above this, you would think we at least get a gap fill, you know, which is a trade, and then to the 200-day, to, um, all in all, I think that, that this could have been the worst quarter in a while, you know, and now if you happen to have a, a good 7 and a good 7 plus and a good little selling season, I would think perhaps this could be more of a, a, a tailwind for the market versus a headwind, and it's been a headwind for a while, or not even just a, a non-event, so maybe it'll be okay for tomorrow. I bought some after hours and I still have some. I'll see whether or not I take it. And then you have Twitter. Okay, Twitter, I bought the calls because I didn't trust the stock. I don't trust Dorsey, Darcy, with Dor whatever the hell the guy's name is. He's, you know, CEO of two companies and he's not doing a good job with either one. You know, so give up the friggin' company. You know, you would think with all the debates and, all, and the election coming up and all the craziness around the world where everyone's looking for news that the MAUs would have done better. You would have thought that they would have beat the number by a lot more and you would have thought that revenue, they would have raise the guidance considering that they have the NFL, the NBA, whatever. So PS, um, it's down after hours. It was very lethargic. Chances are, um, you know, I'm going to lose money in the options. I bought the 19s, okay, thinking that, you know, can get above this and get to the 200-day, make some money, you know, thinking that maybe they do something right. The last three quarters have been down, hasn't happened, and now it's trading here after hours. So see if this 1621 is some support. Um, I also bought some of the December, so maybe there's a maybe there's a takeover down the road, but probably not tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll, it'll be back to this monotonous trading where you know every earnings season, you know guys like me who use Twitter a lot, who really like it, you know, and and I've been connecting with people around the world like you guys watching. Thank goodness, you know, we've always had options because that was a big loss. That was a big loss. This was a big one, and then. Thank goodness we get to trade it thereafter and make a little bit of money, but that too hasn't been so easy. So we'll see whether or not this 1621 holds tomorrow. Um, you know, the GDX gapped up and trapped some shorts. Uh, uh, you know, it's still trying to figure out what's next here. Um, you know, it did close above yesterday's high, so it's a, a start. It's coming into the eight day. You'll see whether or not it gets rejected here. It's been red, green, green, red, green. We'll see what tomorrow is. You know, hard to catch things that are counter directional from day to day. Um, the Nugget did the exact same thing, counter directional, which makes it you know, hard. You know, one thing I did tweet yesterday was I said, if you've been short the Nugget and the GDX, you should probably cover. Hopefully you saw that. And then you saved yourself you know, giving money back or, or some, uh, you know, or, or lost money. Who knows what, what you did here. But anyway, you know, we'll see what it ha you know, the moving averages are pinching down. We'll see if it pops above. If you're long it from today, hopefully you're long a little less because from day to day it's been a little bit difficult. Um, oil's been down. I tried it today. It didn't work. I'll try it again tomorrow. Still bleeding. 
nothing, you know, nothing crazy. We tried it a few times with this, and the UWTI hasn't happened. So we'll see what, what tomorrow brings. Um, not stuck in it. Guys have been stuck in it for a while. You know, we don't get stuck in situations like this, especially when they break trend. And this, you know, broke this trend off the lows. Okay, what do you mean by breaking the trend off the lows? I mean, you know, a lot of it from right here-ish, you know, that wide range bar, that was a 32. So <laughs> here you are at 2057. Um, so I don't think anyone stuck in it. Plus it's below the 21 day. So just trying to figure out where we could play a bounce. It is getting oversold. We'll see. Maybe inventory is tomorrow. And that's it. You know, earnings season's upon us. You have lots of action. Um, you know, uh, the, the indices are near highs. We've had a little bit of erratic violence in between these ranges. Like today, I was long a lot heading into, you know, 10 o'clock or so. Everything was going well. It looked like IWM was going to break out. Uh, <laughs> spiders were hanging above um, whatever that was, 217-ish. And then, boom, a sell program got me out of everything. Sucked. <laughs> Excuse my French. And then came all the way back and then came back in the middle and things looked okay. And I'm like, you know what, let me just put that little sell program behind me and get back involved because these ranges are still intact and things can you know, continue to be constructive. Some guys made some big money in this FCX today. Look at that. FCX opened down and it engulfed the entire move to the upside. So now maybe this continues, but this was you know, a big buy the down open. Guys did something like that in Caterpillar. Look at that. It was down 40 cents and then pow. So, you know, if you're having a little bit of a problems with the indices, go back to stocks. You know, for some reason, lately I've been focusing on the indices a little bit more than stocks, and it hasn't been the best place to be in these ranges. But, you know, the stocks have been okay. Actually, look at this. Came right into here and held it in pow. Um, you know, Tesla, I actually tried and <laughs> got stopped down that also in that mess, and it kind of came back and, you know, looks decent too, if it were to get above this little spot, uh, you know, tomorrow. Um, ACIA, some guys took profits today. You have another engulfing bar. Um, every engulfing bar has been met with buying at the eight day. At some point, it might not, so take a little care. You know, each time eight day held, eight day held. You know, we'll see if, uh, what happens tomorrow if we get some kind of red dog reversal into it. But, you know, last time we talked about buying, it was here. <laughs> you know, we're actually even here when I put it on my notes. So up here, you better be a bit more careful. Twilo is still having a little problems. Uh, breaking out, I guess he needs to see what's happening on earnings. and. You know, just be a little careful here. This wedge is there and the underwriters keep downgrading it. I don't know if that's because they want more stock or whatever it is, but, you know, just take a little care. It's getting, uh, it might need the earnings to prove that it can continue. So I got to jump. I got a ferry. We'll see what happens tomorrow with Apple. Maybe it holds 150, gets back in play, and we could see a move towards 103, 104. You know, Amazon, Google come out on Thursday, so that's on the side until then. Same thing with Facebook tomorrow. Um, I've been in Amgen calls since last week. You know, I was going to sell them. I didn't. You know, I uh, looked at the chart. I figured, you know, maybe this breakout to the upside is for real. Uh, I haven't caught a good option play in a while. Um, but anyway, we'll see what happens here. Breaking out, I'm still in it. We'll see what happens in the morning. All in all, the chart looks good. And, you know, we'll see if, uh, you know, maybe that'll pay for my Twitter calls. <laughs> so with that said, have a good night. I'll see you in the morning. And uh, a day is a day.